unfortunately, I think he might have been wrong place, wrong time. I, I don't know, but we'll find out more as it progresses. Uh, and I certainly hope that someday we all get a motive. Um, will we ever? I don't know. Do, does the family deserve that? I think so. His children certainly do. Um, but uh, aside from that, no, he's been alone. Um, I thank you all for, for coming today. And like I said, please just continue to listen with open ears. And uh, I, I really thank you all for respecting the family as well. It's, it's wonderful. I'm sorry? Um, it's, a little easier than it was a few months ago, only because it's no longer fresh. We have had time to calm ourselves, um, but it still stinks. Um, I, that's the reason why I did not want my children here today, because I don't think that they feel, you know, they don't need to hear the evidence, the medical exam, uh, you know, et cetera. Uh, so even though they are older, they're 18 and 15, they can handle it. I don't think they needed to be a part of that today. Uh, same thing with the rest of our parents today. Uh, they did not need to be here for the medical examiner. Uh, that was extremely hard. And um, like I said, I, I, I have nothing but faith in this team. And uh, I, I still wish everyone good health and, and you know, they move on. And, uh, th th thoughts as the wrap up is coming? It's going to be now the presentation from the defense. Thank you. What do you What do you think? What are you thinking right now? It would involve a lot of bleeping, so uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, my thoughts on this, um, I am extremely grateful to especially the team, uh, Officer Hood and his partner that were there on the scene that tried to revive Bob, and I think that that was probably one of the most heartwarming yet heartbreaking things to hear, um, that they all did very well. Um, I feel that the, the San Francisco Police Department, the detectives, the crime scene, all, all the different, I know, I know all the different names of the departments, they are doing their best with what they have, and, and I don't think there's anything sloppy about any of this. Um, they have been extremely thorough with, with trying to inform us uh, on things, but like I said, these are coming out as, as you're hearing them right now. The family, unfortunately, is not informed of things ahead of time. Um, a lot of the things that we get is hearsay from friends um, and potential witnesses, I'm not sure, but like I said, there's, and we've been surrounded, our family has been surrounded by support and love this, this whole time. This idea that they were friends or bros or they were growing out and so he couldn't have... You know, Interesting use of slang on that one. Um, growing out. Uh, how do I put that one? I think that they were acquainted through the sister, Tina. Um, I don't think that they were friends. Uh, I had never heard him mentioned. Uh, Bob and I were very close. We speak all the time. I've never once heard him mention that name. Uh, either of the names, to be honest with you. So, uh, no, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't think that they were friends. Uh, no. Yes. Yeah, he's admitted to it, saying that it was self-defense. He stabbed him. The fact that he stabbed him multiple times is, is disgusting. Um, also, if this was supposed to be self-defense, like they seem to claim, sorry. You know, Bob was a, was a smaller guy. Nina is substantially larger than him. He could have shoved him, pushed him, punched him. That would have been sufficient. Bob was one of the most non-violent men that you could have ever met. Um, very respectful and was more loving. If there was an argument, he would prefer to handle it with words and dignity rather than violence. He'd never, never, I've never seen him be violent. Any way, shape, or form. Do you think he was trying to de-escalate Mima? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, and that's my own opinion. That has that's no fact to that at all. Uh, I'm being called in. Thank you all so much.